Breaking news out of Turkey and Syria. Overnight, two massive earthquakes struck southeastern Turkey. At 4.17 a.m., we experienced the worst disaster of the century. The death toll following last week's devastating earthquake has now surpassed 40,000, making it the deadliest event in Turkey's history. I think that especially the Middle East is kind of just seen as a war-torn zone that can't be helped anymore. My name is Aisha Bouhi Mishak. I'm a person in Turkish. My family is. I was born here. But I do have a lot of family in Turkey and I'm very connected to that part of my culture. So it was very frustrating to see Fordham not really addressing the issues that happened in the Middle East. This whole process made me really disappointed in Fordham because no one really did anything. And it was just sending out that email to whole Fordham community and no one reads those emails that Fordham administration sends out. So we knew that they weren't really taking this seriously. I'm Sena, and I'm from Istanbul, Turkey, and I'm the treasurer of Turkish Student Association. The Turkish Students Association is a new club that we formed on campus. The earthquake that happened in the Turkish-Syrian border, that's why we created this club originally. We wanted to help us Fordham students. Uh, but unfortunately, you can't fundraise on campus if you're not connected to an organization on campus. With Fordham being a bureaucracy, it's also very difficult to fundraise per their guidelines. I went to USG first after the earthquake situation, and I was like, can I do a bake sale? And they told us that we have to get like tax forms or like stuff like that. And since it was like an urgent situation, none of the nonprofits in Turkey were able to provide us with those documents. So it had to be like an American based company that could provide that information. We did tabling where we sold like stuffed animals and donuts and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <It's so cute. laughs> All the proceeds directly went to the Turkish Philanthropy Fund. We raised over 3,000 American dollars for Turkey and Syria, and that's about 60. K liras. A certain section of that money was doubled by the organization itself and then it got sent to Turkey. So that makes a huge difference. That's a lot of um, goods that people can buy. Um, so that's the main thing that we did. We also um, volunteered in Turkish consulate for like packing the donations to send out to Turkey. I think that Fordham says things like we care about everybody, you know, we are um, like the front leaders of social justice, but kind of fall short in actually enacting that social justice. A lot of the time, unfortunately, people think of Middle Eastern bodies as disposable. It's not just like a Turkish problem, but it's like a humanitarian problem. So like everyone has to take part in this. We would do the same if something else happened in another country. I was like telling them, can we just like send out like Turkish non-profit organs? And they were like, oh, we sent out to UNICEF's things. And yeah. this is not gonna help for us because we know that like the donations in like international organizations may take more time to like come to Turkey. This is an urgent situation, like people need help right now. For being an American institution, I feel like issues in the Middle East aren't addressed a lot. So we wanted to have a club where um, like if anything like that happens again, which obviously we hope it doesn't, there is an easier way to help people in Turkey and help people in that region of the Middle East. We were disappointed of Fordham's administration. We're like, oh, we already did what we could do, which was not enough. So we had to form the Turkey TSI. If we stop doing something for Turkey, I don't think anyone from the administration will do anything. Right now, we don't have funding for TSA um, because it's a new club, but we're gonna try to do some like partnerships with other clubs so we can put on events through that as well. People can find different parts of themselves or like their cultures in this club or like the things that we do and the food that we eat or like the dances, like the songs. Like I think it's like a really it's like a really multicultural thing that is like like that combined in like one club. So I think that everyone can find a piece of their identity in this club and the events that we do. So you have this new club. What's the future for the Turkish Association? There is a couple of
of avenues that we want to go down. One is obviously just being a cultural organization, just like any other cultural organization on campus. So that means kind of just educating for them on like what Turkish culture means, um, how we can like amplify Turkish voices when it comes to issues like this. But obviously we'll also have just like fun events where we'll give out food and do other content like that. So there's a lot to do.